Yo, what's up, y'all? This is Rom coming back at you with yet another car video. Fellas, you got to get past her looks. Yeah, because let's be real now. Okay, what you going to do? Oh, wait a minute. I got to pull out. Now, y'all might notice. Y'all might notice I'm coming from... A different background because I know some of y'all Bamas be looking at my like background and stuff trying to figure out where I am especially those who live in Harford County I'll make it easier for you I'm coming off the campus I had to drop a lady friend off uh, at school anyway right check it out check it out wait a minute hold on Gotta pay attention Anyway, right, fellas, you can't get past a woman's looks. A lot of dudes, see, you understand something. And this will keep y'all out of trouble. See, a lot of dudes get played because they focus on a woman's looks. Now, I know I've talked about this before, but I got about 4,000 odd videos, probably even more than that if I count my other stuff. And some stuff I just need to run over and over. Good Lord, girl. Hey. Anyway, right? One of the things that you got to really think about, fellas, is yes, she's beautiful. Yeah, she's fine. She's like that dime, that baddie, whatever. What's going on in her mind? Because that's where the danger really comes in. That's where the danger really comes in. Because a lot of guys, they get played because she had a fat ass, though. But she fine or something like that. I'm going to tell you what. As a man, as a man, you really got to think about what else is she bringing. Like, you meet that woman, okay, she fine, she, you know, she got those nice breastuses, pretty face, and all of that. Okay, yeah. Okay. But, is she, is she going to be cooperative? You know? Is she going to be an asset to your liability, right? Like, uh, I actually saw the pic of, you know, I saw some, um, got in a conversation about like uh, with a lady friend I just dropped off too about this woman that BGS knows and BGS you listening the uh, I just found out that the makeup artist got married of course the makeup artist married a doctor and you know just knowing her very beautiful well she was very beautiful <laughs> that's, that's something else <laughs> But did she love that man or did she love him for his inner beauty, mainly that he's a doctor? Because even when some guys are talking about money and status, right? If a woman, if a beautiful woman is with you and you got money and status, you got to question what she really want from you. You know, you got to be that guy who's going to like, like go back home one day, you know? And like, and this is for any fellas, no matter what. When you're dealing with a woman, okay, she cute. Okay, you like looking at her. Okay, yeah, she gets your joint hard. Now, if you that type, you're going to be on some player player thing and you just want to hit real quick, okay. But even then, you should really think about it, even then. Because what happens, you get her pregnant. Then that could be another problem. See, every time a man deals with a woman, just because, okay, because you know how I always joke, we'll mess with her. If she fine, she could be wearing a potato sack or something. And see, that's one thing I get with women. Most most women, they look for other shit in a man. They can look at a man, find him handsome or something, but if they don't like how he talk or some of his personality, they leave him alone. Some guys will still mess with her. You know why? Because she had a fat ass, though, right? Now, we, as a man, you got to get past that. You got you can't you can't mess with that. You gotta find out, okay, what's going on with her upstairs? You know, is she just going for you for your inner beauty, meaning the money in your pockets? 
You know, is she just being friendly to you, but you got a certain status? You know, some guys might like that and, you know, they might lean on that. Like it all, I would always say, double back home one day. See, you want that woman whose personality you click with. You want that woman who can support you. And even with the looks thing, you know, guys are always talking about, you know, a woman's looks start to fade at 30. And let's just be real. That woman who's real fine at 22 might not look the same at 32 or 42. But you get a lot of guys who still want that long-term relationship. The thing you got to do, the thing you got to think about is, all right, what can she do for me long-term? What is she bringing to the table? You know? Even if she's beautiful, as Master Teacher BGS would say about 100 octanes, does she have a Rolodex? What can she do for you? Seriously, you got to think about that. Can you talk to her? Okay, she fine. Can you talk to her? Because first of all, don't think you impress. See, some guys think they want to get that beautiful woman and impress their buddies or something. They ain't impressed with you anyway. They, first of all, half of them pray wondering why she with you anyway. The other half scheming to get at her. But see, you want that woman who's going to be that type who's going to support whatever your mission is. You know, a lot of guys, like I always say, a lot of guys talking about uh, submission from a woman. But for in order for a woman to be in submission, you have to have a mission. She needs to be in cooperation with your operation. You know, so when you meet that woman, when you meet that woman and everything, okay, you got to find out what's up with her. What's she talking about? You know? Yeah, she fine. But see, that's where uh, dick discipline comes in. Damn. Somebody ran into a, uh, something there. Knocked some stone over. Yeah, for those in Hartford County, I'm on Will Road where all those mansions are. So, anyway. You got to ask yourself, okay, what is, okay, what is she talking about? Okay, yeah, she cute, yeah. That's when you got to have control over your dick. Because, see, a lot of dudes will follow their dick. Because she had a fat ass, though, right? But they'll follow their dicks. And, like, nah, I just got to get with it, get with it. Then they get in trouble. You know? You know? She'll say something. They'll be having sex with it. say, baby, take off that condom. I want to feel you. And you be like, okay. Yeah, you can't wait to take that shit off. That shit feel real good. You bust now. She say, baby, that's okay. I don't think I can get pregnant. You know? Or she talk about some other stuff. All of a sudden, she pregnant. You know? By you, know it. And you might not think about it at first, but see, you got a little bit of money. All of a sudden, she's like, well, you know, how much money? I, I need to get this much amount of money to live per month. You know how they do. Nah, because, yeah, even with them, even if it's short term, like I said, you want to make sure that she ain't going to be a problem in the future. You want to make sure you want to see where she's at. See, I'm going to tell you something now. I only got one woman who's unaccounted for, so I don't know if she ever had a baby with me or not. And unfortunately still has some, uh, I'll say some uh, issues some near misses and stuff but with every one it was always a woman I could deal with long term well with most of them there was one uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that was a no but you want to you want to still deal with women on who's going to be about something if you got to. in fact that's the only women you should really just have sex with in case there's a problem, she ain't gonna be a problem long term. You actually run out of stuff. That you know, that's maybe a discussion. I, well, I have it right now. Even when you're dealing with a woman, I don't care how fine she is, make sure that she's the type. If she were to get pregnant, you can still deal with her. At least have a good like parenting relationship with her. Because I know some guys that get that woman pregnant, she had a baby. Some of them wanna like. Uh, you know, they just want the baby. 
remember, women still, they might not want the man, they still want the babies out here. But see, as a man, you want to be in your child's life, so you want to make sure this woman ain't going to be a problem long term. You know? But once again, it all comes down to finding out what's on her mind. What's, okay, she look good. She, yeah, she got those nice DSLs, dick sucking lips. She, she, I mean, she fine. But you got to, I, I can't emphasize that enough. You got to find out what's on her mind. What is she talking about? Say, baby, what you talking about? Seriously. Say, what is she talking about? What's on her mind? What is she, what is she about? Because once you find out what's on her mind, then as a man, that's when you take control. See, no matter how beautiful she is, it's still your plan. So, you know, you don't let that beauty manipulate you. But let's be real out here. Many men, they're manipulated by beauty. Let's just be real. Many men are... A beautiful woman knows she can get anything out of a man. She know it. She know it. And don't let one of those beautiful women be one of those ones uh, who grew up in like a, I'll say, deprived environment. You know, destitute environment. Because she'll definitely know how to use you. She'll definitely know how to use her body to get what she wants. Her looks and her body to get what she wants. And a lot of guys get played. See, one of the things you want to be smart about is you need to, like I said, find out what's on her mind, have some control over your over your dick. Now, a lot of times I'll talk about sex workers, male sex workers, or even, uh, you know, like strippers and gigolos or even the pimps. But you can learn a lot from a pimp. You don't have to put a woman out on the, uh, on the, ro on the stroll or anything. That's not even what it's about. It's just knowing what they got. Okay, they ain't getting played because they got control over their dick. I've heard of one pimp. He shoot. He jack off in front of a woman. Just let her. Just let her know. Nah, she ain't bringing them none. And then they end up working for him. But see, let's just be real. A lot of guys out here, even some guys you think otherwise, on some simp shit. Let's just be real. Let's keep it a buck. You know, that woman beautiful and everything, and you know, they just say, well, we, we just gonna, we just gonna let, we just gonna uh, let her do whatever she wanna do. You know, they ain't thinking to themselves, hold up, I gotta have some control here. See, you gotta see, first of all, as a man, your first relationship is to yourself, to your mission, what you trying to do in life. Cause you are gonna draw the women anyway. That's, that's just, seriously, you don't have to, like, and you, whatever you want to do, because you got to be happy with yourself, you know, that woman, let's be real, pussy, that might be some good, like, feel good for half an hour, hour, if you're into tantra, most guys 15 minutes, whatever the case, yeah, you feel good, but... What good is it if the woman is on is on some bullshit? And there's a lot of guys suffering with that. Now, as a man, you definitely want to you want to first focus on what you're trying to do, and then the woman she need to be in support of that. Now, I know some women feel like a man need to pour into them. Well, hold up, hold up, stop for a second. It's our nature to if a woman's supporting you. Ain't nothing, no problem with you supporting her. But see, you got some women out here, they want a man to support them totally. They want to run the shit. Lead them to the side. I don't care how fine they are. Just just, just say, well, you know what? You were fine too, but we ain't going this way. You know? We ain't doing this. And that's how you got to look at it. That's how you got to look at it, right? So with you as a man... Your main thing is, okay, what's my plan? Okay, she fine, but is she going to be what I need her to be? Or can she be a problem? Like I said, even if you think in short term, it don't take much. Shit, your condom can tear. A lot of my trouble with condoms can tear with me. You know, disease. They do tear. Yeah. And you don't know. 
And she might be that type of tear. She might be like, no, that's okay. No, that's when you might be in trouble. You know? Because there's some guys, they got caught up with some women. And this woman was not the right one for them. I've seen this happen too much. So you got to look. Yeah, once you get past the, you got to get past the looks. Okay. It's kind of like how they looking at a man, right? Because I say they'll look at a man, he got the good bait, but then they'll find out what he's talking about. Many men got to be on that same thing like she was all right till she opened her mouth. You know? Unfortunately, that's a, something that many men might learn as they get older, but then you get some men. You get some men in their 50s and 60s around my age and stuff. They, uh, they see that beautiful women, they still going to trick on it and everything. It was like, please. You know? What is she bringing? Like, the only way I'd spend money on a woman, a whole lot of money on a woman taking a lunch or something, is she got to be a millionaire herself with a successful business. And trust me, I'm writing it off because I ain't going for some romantic shit. I want to know her business. There's a couple of famous women. I get a chance with them. I say, I don't mind. I'll pay. I'll pay for their time. You know, they don't need to bring that Rolodex with them, with them or something. I'm thinking business. And that's how many men need to really start thinking about some women. You know? And you're thinking about your life, like what you believe in, what your religion, you know, what your social class, what do you like to do? Is this woman doing the same thing? What does she offer beyond sex? You know, what does she offer? Can you be around this woman? It, it, just think about it like this. Can you be around this woman and your, your dick ain't going in? And if the answer is no, you probably don't need to deal with the neighbor for sex. Because many a man has gotten caught up with some woman. Many a man has gotten caught up with some woman. And they were thinking sex or something like that and he found out that woman wasn't, she had some plans cause and seriously every man need to do that and sometimes I'm gonna tell you what even deeper you might need to wait a while cause some women will tell you what you wanna hear at first and some guys you know of course she had a fat ass though they'll go right with it they'll go right with it Oh, man. <laughs> I just saw something. Anyway, man, I'm getting in here. Do my thing, all right? So, yeah, this is kind of a show. I said, I don't have to give you those long ones like I used to. Anyway, y'all, I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.